Lucy Njanga says she used to walk along here when she was living near Lake Nakuru. Now she can only come by boat to the spot where her family's home once stood. Less than two years ago, this area was used for farming. Now young men throw out fishing nets here, hoping to catch anything of value. The lake has swallowed up entire buildings and fields, and Lucy Njenga's life was turned upside down. This used to be our house, but Lake Nakuru kept rising. It all began in 2020. Then in March last year, we had to move out because the water had reached a dangerous level. Suddenly, we were homeless. Before, we raised poultry, but the chickens died in the water. Now I'm penniless. I have nothing left to my name. In one way, Lake Nakuru is a paradise. It's in a fantastic location in the middle of a national park that's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is just a three-hour drive from the Kenyan capital, Nairobi. It was always popular with tourists, but for the past seven years, the lake has grown steadily. The water level is now twice as high. Lucy Njenga and her husband have moved to a hut just five or six square meters in size. I'm not the only one whose house has been submerged. My neighbors have suffered the same fate. But in a room this size, you can't cook properly. You can't sleep properly. Nothing. Several hundred others who lived on the banks of Lake Nakuru have had to move to emergency accommodation. This was once the main entrance to the national park. The number of tourists coming has also declined. This is the original uh, outermost point of the lake shore. And from here it was uh, 100 meters to the actual lake shore. This is the beginning of the woodland. But now it has moved more than 3 kilometers. We joined Joseph Fedebi from the Kenyan Wildlife Service, the state agency responsible for conservation. He's been observing the changing landscape with great concern. The lake level has gone up by more than uh, 5 meters. Initially, the lake level was about uh, 4 meters, but now we measured uh, in December, it was 12 meter, uh, 10 meters, but now the lake level has gone back by uh, half a meter, so it's about 9.5 meters. It's had serious consequences for the entire park. Roads have had to be relocated, animals and birds are struggling to find enough food and suitable breeding grounds. That's forced many of the flamingos, for example, to leave. Lake Nakuru is just one of the several lakes in Kenya's Great Rift Valley that have been affected. But what's behind these changes, and could they destabilize the entire ecosystem? Experts are still debating the cause. Environmental activist Elizabeth Wanja believes there's no easy answer. When we registered uh, the highest levels of water, and it could be attributed to a complex and myriad uh, interface of uh, climate change, uh, land use change, and uh, geological factors, uh, which has resulted to a number of uh, social economic impacts and also uh, hydro and ecological impacts on the lakes. Back to Lucy Njenga and her husband. They say there's been very heavy rainfall in recent years. Like them, their friend and neighbor, Victor Njendu, was also forced to relocate. He now lives with his wife and four children in a corrugated iron hut that he built himself. And this house, as you can see, it is very small. Uh, when I consider where I was and see where I am and maybe count of where I would be, then I see it's quite a great loss for me and my entire family. Victor Njendu struggles on day by day. He does his best for his family but finds it hard to stay positive. Lake Nakuru continues to shimmer with all its beauty and attract tourists, albeit in smaller numbers. But the entire area has changed. Meanwhile, Lucy Njenga is deeply unhappy. She dreamed of enjoying her retirement by the lake. Now she faces an uncertain future.